structure of a skeletal muscle. In this module, you will learn about the structure of a skeletal muscle. You already know that most of our body movements would not be possible without the skeletal muscles. It is the structure of a skeletal muscle that helps in its function. Let us zoom inside one of the skeletal muscles to understand its structure. Each skeletal muscle in our body is made of numerous muscle bundles of fascicles. These bundles are held together by a common collagenous connective tissue layer called the fascia. Each muscle bundle consists of a large number of physiological units called muscle fibers or muscle cells. Each muscle fiber is an elongated structure lined by a plasma membrane called sarcolemma and its cytoplasm is called sarcoplasm. Inside the sarcoplasm, a well-developed endoplasmic reticulum called sarcoplasmic reticulum is present that serves as the storehouse of calcium ions. The sarcoplasm also contains several nuclei. Such a multinucleated mass of cytoplasm is called a syncytium. Thus, each muscle fiber is a syncytium. Each fiber also contains a large number of thin and rod-like filaments arranged in a parallel manner called the myofibrils. Let's take a look at how a myofibril appears under a microscope. As you see, it appears striated with alternate light and dark bands on it. These alternate light and dark bands appear due to the presence of two important contractile proteins, actin and myosin, in the myofibrils. Actin and myosin are rod-like structures or filaments that are arranged parallel to each other. These protein filaments are also parallel to the longitudinal axis of the myofibril. As you can see, actin filaments are thinner than the myosin filaments. Thus, actin and myosin are also referred to as thin and thick filaments respectively. The dark band contains myosin filaments and is called the anisotropic or A band. It has a comparatively less dark zone called H zone in its middle. The H zone is less dark as it is not overlapped by the thin filaments. A thin fibrous membrane termed as M line is present in the center of the H zone that holds together the thick or myosin filaments of the A band. The light bands on the other hand contain actin or thin filaments and are called isotropic or I bands. In the middle of I band, we can see an elastic fiber. It is called the Z line. The thin filaments of I band are firmly attached to the Z line. The portion of the myofibril between two successive Z lines is called a sarcomere. It is considered as the functional unit of contraction. Thus, a sarcomere consists of the A band and half of each adjacent I band. Let us now move inside a dark band and get to know more about the myosin protein. Each myosin or thick filament is a polymerized protein composed of many monomeric proteins called meromyosins. Each meromyosin has two parts. The first part is a globular head with a short arm called the heavy meromyosin HMM. The second part is a tail called the light meromyosin LMM. The HMM component projects outwards at a regular distance at an angle from the surface of a myosin filament and is known as the cross arm. The globular head is an active ATPase enzyme and has sites for the attachment of ATP and actin. Let us now zoom inside a light band containing an actin protein. Each actin or thin filament is made of two F, that is, filamentous actin strands helically wound to each other. Each F actin is a polymer of monomeric G, that is, globular actins. There are two filaments of a regulatory protein called tropomyosin that run close to the F actin throughout its length. 
Another regulatory protein of three globular peptides called troponin is also distributed at regular intervals on tropomyosin. A subunit of troponin masks the active binding site of a myosin. So you have just seen that alternately arranged A bands containing myosin and I band containing actin make up the sarcomeres. The sarcomeres are serially arranged to form the myofibrils that are arranged in a parallel manner inside the muscle fiber. The muscle fibers in turn make up the muscle bundles. The muscle bundles held together by a fascia make up the skeletal muscles which help in various body movements. Let's recap. A skeletal muscle is made up of numerous muscle bundles of fascicles held together by a fascia. Each muscle bundle consists of many muscle fibers or muscle cells. Each muscle cell is made of a large number of rod-like myofibrils arranged in a parallel manner. Each myofibril contains serially arranged sarcomeres which are called the functional units of contraction. Each sarcomere contains a dark A band made of thick myosin filaments and two half I bands made of thin actin filaments on either side of it demarcated by a Z line. Myosin and actin are polymerized proteins. Myosin is made of monomeric proteins called meromyosins. Each meromyosin has a globular head with a short arm called the heavy meromyosin HMM and a tail called the light meromyosin LMM. Each actin is made of two F actin strands and two regulatory proteins called tropomyosin and troponin.